crack it up. <laughs> All right, Mike Hackett here, Joe Militello, and tonight we have a special guest in Bill Simonson. He's a, a bit of a sightless training legend. I, if you guys watch our podcast, and I'm sure you are because you're watching it right now, um, he's probably the most brought up name that we, we discuss. You know, we're comparing our form or some, some task if we're hiking it in two or something like that. Bill always seems to come up, so it felt fitting that we brought him here today. And uh, before I kind of get into all the statistics that kind of highlight his career at Sightvis Training, um, I just kind of want to break down the, the workout from today. But what I feel so underprepared. There's 15 pages of notes here, <laughs> and I have coffee I just made that is probably – well, it's not bad, but I don't have any paper, so <laughs> you can borrow mine. I'll just uh, – I'm going to cheat today. I'm going to copy off you. There you go. But, yeah, let's talk about today's workout. I know that you uh, you didn't quite finish. You were close, I right? I did not finish. Yeah. Um, like, what did, like, what did you think about it? Was it difficult? Yeah, I thought there was some really, there was some very hard parts. Uh, the uplift with the razors, you know, the two razors back-to-back, that was, uh, that was tough. Um, what else? Yeah, but said, when you have, uh, let's see, one, <laughs> two, three, you have five bucks, but... They go pretty fast when you can do it in two each way. Right. That's yeah. Annoying. Well, I, you know, that's that's where I thought I was going to have a really good workout because there was the the bucks and then there was a fair amount of the ape shoots, uh, thrashers, uh, stack shots. You said the junkie jumps hurt, right? Oh, my God. They hurt terribly. The one that you did. The, really? The, the whole one. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost cried. That's funny. Like, I don't know. Just yeah. Maybe because where it came in. Did you do yesterday's workout? I did not. Because okay, no. I heard people saying their quads were sore from yesterday. But So I, I ended up uh, working out at uh, 1130, so I watched three classes go, and it, it just dragged today. It seemed like it was it was a dragging workout. See, I disagree. Well, no. When yeah. I went in oh, and did oh, it, yeah. it, it didn't drag at all. No. But it, it just was dragging watching it. I guess, yeah. I guess maybe because there was enough repeats where mm-hmm. if someone didn't know what to do, they – they got it and then we're good, you know. Yeah. So there wasn't a lot of help needed today, other than so that was kind of what we were talking stuff. about, or we're trying to talk about when we were doing the push. <laughs> we we're yeah. trying to talk about like the difference between like watching it as a pro as opposed to actually participating in it. Like I felt like there was some variety in it, even though really the first more than half of the workout was the cross fusion and then the the uplift. But it didn't. It, it felt like the the time went by. Yeah, fast. when I when I was in it, it was mm-hmm. it went. A lot quicker than I, I figured it was going to drag, and I totally did. Now you were on reverse plate push at the end because I, I did the workout yeah. after you, um, and you you had to eke that out at the very end to get to get nine seventy eight, um, and it felt like it was humid in here, but no, it was it, fine. Yeah, it, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't was bad. no, there was no problems. Yeah, you you finished right at the end at reverse plate push, and then you had twenty seconds and had and finished cray cray on the way back. So you guys both finished like right. At the buzzer, you know, yeah. um, down here. Well, I saw it. I mean, it was like, at the end, I'm like, I think I can get to that reverse yeah. plate push. I'm going to have to push through. You know, I mean, it was only mountain climbers and trog, so it wasn't anything yeah. too tough to get. I mean, that's that's how it was with me. With kamikaze and cray cray, the hardest part was getting the kamikaze done. Yeah. In order, in order to have enough time to do cray cray, because you knew you were going to do it fast. Um, but let's let's highlight some of Bill's kind of accomplishments, uh, I would say, on, on, the, on the turf. Because it's like his resume at Sightless Training is, is probably unparalleled compared to anybody else. Um, he's been a member since, uh, I guess, I mean, from what I have yep. here, is that right? Yep, that's right. Uh, 11 5 of 2012, so what is that? Almost what, five and a half years, yeah. not quite. Um, right now, his current 30 day boulder is at a, a 942, his season's a 926, and his career overall, at least with the current newer site, is a 970. And he usually falls in the top five, both in Sinclair Shores and across the board in in all of Sightless Training. But this is really what I want to highlight, and this is one of the things, or the thing that I look up to Bill for um, when it comes to Sightless Training is his consistency with it and uh, his frequency in which he comes. Um, his total workouts in his career is 1,135, and that's just with the 45. I like Before we came on here, I was like, oh man, he's still he's got all these workouts with the fifty five. Uh, it wasn't many. It, it wasn't. No, no, less than twenty, I think. Okay, okay. In the new system? No, in the new system, I I don't know if I've done a fifty five. You really? did one. One. And you finished it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So to put that in perspective, I was breaking it down like, well, how many is that a year? In 2016, you did two, uh, you did 201 workouts. 2015, you did 193. But this is in early in your career. 2014, you did 245 workouts in that year, and the 2013, 255 workouts. Which what? that's that's insane. But why didn't you look up 2017? It wasn't quite as much, and I, I don't know why. I was I had I was counting each one. Oh, Mr. Vacation over yeah. here. Right, yeah, no, it's, no. it's a it's, was it, was it, it's was a it new job. The same? No, probably oh, not. Okay. No, I okay. mean it's it, my my stats have fallen just because work. You know, I'm traveling more, mm-hmm. and it's one of the things I was thinking like, it's so hard to keep up with right. a travel schedule, and then you know I'm home for a week, so I try to work out every day, and then by the fourth day I'm dying. So it's well, it's definitely changed a little bit. I wouldn't say that's. The re- or the only reason why, or it's maybe a no. reason why, but obviously I've tweaked the score system several times since you've been around. I mean, because yeah. you go back so far, uh, you know, it was pretty much a seventy-five point drop in last summer. So that's one mm-hmm. thing. And then one of the things I was going to highlight is I think that you're maybe not scoring as high as you were before, but you're doing it with better form, yeah. and that that's way more impressive, you know. And and you still we have. I have the total of 1,135 workouts, but you, you're one of those people who still shows up and maybe does a half hour if that's all you can get in, come in and do it, or you do your double work, double plate right. workouts and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. oh, so it's just, not only are you consistent, you've got the form, but you still make it a priority to come here. Can you, can you expand on that at all? Like what, what makes, um, like, I was going through each and every single one of the workouts in your early career. So, like, from, like, the old site, which I hardly ever dig out. Right. You're the one that gave me the link to it. I'm like, oh, it's sitting, <laughs> on, it's sitting on our site. Yeah. But I was going through, in the early stages, you kind of had, like, a meteoric rise. You started off with a 480, which is funny for me to even think about his initiation being a 480. Hmm. And just think of Bill scoring a 480. But in your first week, you went from 400 to 600s. And then in the first month after that, you were scoring in the 700s. In the fourth month, then you started getting eight to nine hundred. Do you attribute your quick success to maybe what you came into Sightbus with, or no. is it consistency? Well, I'm sure you remember. I, we talk about it a fair amount, but my first day I came in, you know, Jennifer had said, you know, I want to try this. We met somebody at a five k. I think we met. It was Terry Brennan and Stephanie. Okay. And we met them at a five k, and Jennifer's like, I'm going to go do it. So she did it like Monday morning. And um, she did it before you. Yeah, she did. And she did it like maybe five thirty or six thirty, and then I came in after that and did it. And uh, and uh, you and I had a conversation. I said, "What do I need to do to get in shape?" And I said, "You know, how many days a week do I need to come?" And you said, three or four. Yeah, that's usually. And so that's what I started to do. I'm like, if I can go three to four days a week, you know, it'll get me in better shape. And, and at four eighty, I mean. I don't know. I, I feel like initiation when I did it, mm-hmm. there was there wasn't. It was either it was something easier. There we didn't have the reverse plate push. Okay, know. right. So anyway, so I just started coming consistently, and then I just started trying to. I was looking at goals. You know, I can I can remember I can remember people who beat me. John Carlino, Jen Newman. That's you know, what, I yeah. remember these people like you know they used to beat me, and mm-hmm. and you know slowly I would get up there, and then I would you know John beat me one time by like a half a task, and I was so pissed, and and you know then then it <laughs> yeah. just you just kind of pick people and say okay I want to be here, I want to be here, and then just keep going after that next person. Yeah. Man, it's interesting for me to like hear you talking about it, knowing how long you've been doing it now, and it's it's crazy to think that it's you know been over five years, and to hear you reference like people that you were trying to pick out and pick off, yeah. and reach up to. So how does that um, like how does it feel now to be kind of like one of the if not the like top person, knowing that other people are trying to like reach up to you? Well, or look y- at you? you know, I mean, <clears throat> when I look at what I'm doing, and you know, you talk about form and things like that, my form hasn't always been the best, you know, and and and. And to bring back another old name, Frankie. Yeah. You know, when Frankie one time said to me, and I'll never forget it, he was like, you know, you want to be at the top of the board, mm-hmm. your form needs to be better. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know exactly how he said it, but it was something to do with that. And I was like, you know what? He's right. Yeah. You know, and as we've kind of, as Cyphus has evolved, and, you know, I can also thank Frankie for mm-hmm. having Yikes become a squat and not <laughs> just a, a yeah. jump forward, yeah. which, was, which was something I was not happy with when it happened. Right. But, you know, doing things that are going to help you. So, I mean, whether it's, you know, hang tens or, or, or simple tasks, you do those correctly, it's going to make you stronger for the harder tasks that come along. So Absolutely. that's kind of how I've looked at it is, you know, when I, 
when I'm out on the turf, I, I watch everybody. You know, yeah. I, I always kind of look around and whether I'm with somebody who's super fast or, or, or not, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm, I'm using them as, as a push for myself. Right, so whether it's if I'm trying to double up or if you know on the uplift, I'm trying to get further ahead of them on that uplift. Yeah. You know, just always trying to trying to catch them on the next thing up. That's kind of just how <laughs> I the mind games I play with myself, so I don't get complacent and think, oh, you know, I'm I'm far enough ahead. Or, you know, especially if I'm trying to work hard. You know, I need yeah. to I need to find someone to to do that. So, well, you said a couple of things, and I don't want to lose my train of thought because I'm notoriously do that. Um, you said. Uh, Fuck, see, I just did. <laughs> but, um, well, first off, the, the game that you say that you play with yourself, that, that's something I would like to dig into, that you're almost staying competitive with, like, you're trying to have a cushion almost in front of somebody yeah. if you're trying to stay ahead of them. Right, yeah, for sure. And Well, you know, I mean, today it was on the uplift, you know, I mean, because everybody was kind of fairly close in, uh, after the cross fusion because was, there was some slow stuff in it. Yeah. And so, I mean, the class that I was in this morning, everybody was kind of close. And then once we got through the uplift, that's when I started. I was really trying to trying to push, you know, mm -hmm. okay, there, you know, I'm on my flamingo, who, you know, whoever I was going against was just starting a razor, you know, then I'm trying to get back up. And, right. and on the way back down, I was trying to get as far, you know, down on the or back to the beginning of the uplift as I could. Mm -hmm. And then once I got to the mole hills, I was trying to get mole hills ahead of people. Okay. See, I've never really... I mean, had the luxury of breaking it down like that. But, yeah. you, you'll you set up, uh, I mean, you, you essentially use other turfs for your rabbit, too, when you come in, right? I mean, if it, not today because it was a first oh. class, but if you're coming in the, in, in the middle of the day and you see someone somewhere else sure. where they got, yeah. that's going to be what you use because more than likely... There's not going to be someone in so the class that's going to... Me, too, yeah. Uh, right. yeah. Be with you. No, I, I look at, I mean... I, I don't do it as much now as I used to. Mm -hmm. I mean, just because I, I, I just could kind of, you know, I'm just doing my own thing right sure. now. And, yeah, but totally. I mean, but before, yeah, I'd look at it. And my, my thing was always, you know, I have to beat somebody by a minute or a tie. Because if I know their score and I can't beat them by a minute or, you know, 30 mm -hmm. or 40 points, then it's a tie. Because, you know, yeah. I, I know where I had to get to. They, right. they might not have right. known where they needed to get to. So that's, I don't know. Just, and I got so many, like, qu questions. It's like, it's... We're getting to the point now that you've been doing it so long, and Joe's right there too, that you do kind of get in this different phase as you've been doing it so many years. You've kind of reached, you know, you finished all the workouts that you want to finish. Um, actually, I didn't even go over that. You finished, uh, you've, I think you've gotten, uh, let me see here, a total of, yeah, you don't have yours. Um, you finished 408. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry for not knowing your yeah. stats by heart. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that either. I mean, I should know but these. But. You, you've kind of attained everything that you want to. There's almost like a different mentality. You, you spoke to it saying how your form has changed. It's definitely changed over the years. Not like it was bad in the past, but once you get to that certain level where you're able to perform and finish workouts, then it's like, okay, what else can I correct? It's got to be form. And you are one of those students that like ask the pros, hey, what, what, yeah. what am I doing? Am I doing it right? And you take the... the I had a pro correcting me today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and when... And, I, no one's ever corrected me on my razor before right. and joe's like hey you're you know you're not getting your feet close enough to the plate so then i was like you know depending on where i was holding the plate where i felt more comfortable I was, you know and, and he's like don't swing your hips and those are those are things where you know i i'm willing to listen you yeah. know and and you if you're not i mean it's just kind of it doesn't you're really you're losing focus on on what's really important here yes. i mean the importance is is getting a good workout doing things correctly and, and doing on the, you know, OBOR, like I hated that in the beginning because mm -hmm. it was so slow. Now I love, I love that squeeze, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and you watch some people and they'll just flow full through it. You're not yeah. getting it. That squeeze at the top of that OBOR feels right. so good. Like right. when, when you're done, like, you know what, if there's, you know, if there's a lot of OBORs, right. if there's a lot of mantises, like I'm okay yeah. losing that time and, and not being at the top because I just, you feel better when you, I'm not going to hold my mantis as long as you do. I just, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, back exercises, those two are back exercises. We don't, that's the one thing that's hard to really hit in, yeah. in our methodology. So more so slow down. And when you say you feel it, you feel it the next day. You're like, oh, I got a good back work. Yeah. So, yeah. But you, you taking um, direction when other people are around does way more for other people and for us than, yes. than even you. Right. Because, you know, people could be watching you and, and see that you're doing it not good, but 
if no one says anything to you, then it's like, oh, it's, you know, no one's going to talk to him, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But when someone's, you know, when someone does say something and you're receptive and um, you take, take it, it yeah. then then they're going to be more receptive and yes. less combative, or not even combative, but no, more receptive in, in willing to listen and get better, take the time, things like that. So, I mean, you are, you do um, set an example for, for people because, I mean, it's, I know it sounds mm -hmm. weird, but people do look up to you or oh, for look sure. at you. I think what people need to sure. see, you know, I mean, whenever, because you hear mostly everything that goes on. When you say something, unless you're standing directly next to somebody talking to them, <laughs> if you're shouting something across the turf, everybody on the turf normally hears it, right? So if a trainer says something to somebody, you know, I always think, am I doing it that way? Like, uh, how, how do I do it? Yeah. yeah. You know, because... You know, they might be saying it to somebody, but you know, it's it, it could really apply to you. But you're you're aware. Like, I don't think everyone has that awareness that you have. Yeah. Okay. You well, know what I mean? Sure. No, I, but I mean that that's that's a great thing to take out of it. I I wish not every I wish everybody were able to do that. Be like, oh, he just cri 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 uh, critiqued his pagoda because he wasn't squatting enough. Do I squat that low enough? Right. Um, because I mean that that is a good tactic. Well, I think the move but, when you see multiple. Um, form corrections needed is you that's just turn down do. yeah you turn totally down the music yeah. and say hey on this blah 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 mm -hmm. and then you don't necessarily know I'm talking to you or you right but right. you heard me and I turned sure. it out for a yes. reason so. and you're not calling anyone out specifically yeah. and especially with someone like Bill if there's something I want to correct I will usually like do like a nonverbal cue I'll just like say get lower or I'll do this to like yeah you know All right once you get to know someone on a level and he takes it's not even criticism like just little like tips like he takes it so well that like I'm more likely to to point something out to him because that I know that's what he wants. Whereas it just depends on who you're who you're working with. I think my goal is never to be corrected on the same thing twice. That's a good goal. You know, I mean, yeah. because it's so just, just make sure no squibbles ever in a workout. Oh my God, no! What, yes, squibbles. <laughs> he I, can't I, do, it, it, he cannot do squibbles. <laughs> squibbles he can't are, do it. Yeah, squibbles are are questionable. <laughs> you know, but I couldn't do I couldn't do scuffles for like the first right. two years. <laughs> yeah. So so I you know, I finally I finally have those under control. So yeah, squibbles a, a nemesis, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's a good nemesis to have compared to some of the other ones most people have. It's just, it, oh, it's, it can really hurt my, you know, the knee, like on that jump forward. It, it just can. It, it is. It is. Oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys keep talking. I want to check the camera. Wait, because it's uh, a flash and I don't want to use it. That's good. That's the first time right. I've seen that. Um, but you're, you're uh, I don't know, it, it's, it's just really interesting because you bring such a wealth of knowledge, kind of siphus wise. And, Going to like, again, from our perspective as a pro, I don't think that I guess most members realize how hard it is for, I mean, even myself having come up with everything to say, hey, you're doing this incorrectly or not exactly as it was designed, but you're way the hell better than I am. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot of courage for someone to say, hey, you know, try, try this Diablo this way, which right. Diablo's not one of them. No, it's, no, it's, it's, you know. That's fine. I think yeah. that anytime, you know, somebody's willing to, to tell you something, you mm -hmm. need to listen. Yeah. Right? I mean, you see people that, you know, have really, really good form. And it's not about speed sometimes. Right? It's, it's about doing the task correctly, you know, making sure, like, I was laughing. I was working out this week, and, and I watched somebody doing something where they should be getting over the line, and mm -hmm. they hit the line every time. It's like, you know, and like, I'd like to say to them, Hey, you yeah. know, really the goal is to get over the line, but I won't, I just, yeah. I, it's not my place to mm -hmm. say, I, I will, if somebody's doing the wrong task, yeah. like I'll be like, Hey, you're doing, you know, yeah. right. Yeah. But it's not my place to correct them. Like if anybody ever asked me how to do something, I'll show it to them, you know, the best that I can. But mm -hmm. it, it's, you know, I think as a trainer, you know, one, what did you ask me in, in your text? You asked me something about, oh. you know, like, like what, like when you have a pro, what is it you look for in a pro that kind right. of, yeah. Yeah. And, and so, you know, to fall back on another work, like I feel bad, like sometimes if I'll see somebody who can do things really fast and, mm. you know, and catch up to me, I'll push myself further. Some people can't do yeah. that, you know, cause yeah. I'll, I'll push myself ahead just so I don't have to deal with that. Like <laughs> them nipping at my heels. Yeah. Uh, I said to somebody on the Thursday, I'm like, you're doing a really good job staying focused because like they were neck and neck with somebody and you know, the, the oh, other person yes. was doing like their, their mantises saying. were so fast right. and like, and they were staying on point, you know, the, the, and they had their blinders on, which is a different like discipline in itself. It, it really is. I mean, it's, you know, um, Brian and I were, were this guy, this had to be, I don't know, two, three years ago. We were, we were like going at it. And after the workout, I can't remember who the trainer was, but was like, guys, 
that was like they kind of called us out like you know who was it I, I, I vaguely remember that too I don't know if it was Emily it been, or Michelle or maybe Michelle you, yeah it might have been Michelle yeah it was like guys you know that it was like yeah. like almost disappointment Brian and I kind of were like yeah that was it <laughs> that was like the last time we ever did that like yeah. I mean it was we were so caught up in beating each other that we were <laughs> we weren't focusing on doing anything and right. you know we I mean we weren't it just wasn't as good as it should have been. And yeah. those things stick with you. You just don't want it to, you don't want to be that person. Well, I don't. And you, 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 you absorb that message very well. Cause I don't feel like not, not everyone does that. And that, that teaches you such a, a deeper level thing. I think that you're like, no, I can, I can learn from th this yeah. whole thing. And you, you have the, the value and perspective of what we're really trying to do here. Right. You yeah. Know? But yeah. I mean, so let's, let's talk about competition because that's, to me, that's where you're above and beyond because you're like, not everyone's able to get to that level. And Frankie and I used to have this conversation a lot when we would just be, um, you know, shooting the shit or mm -hmm. whatever. But like, there is a certain level to go from, you know, scoring your 800s or whatever, but then being able to finish a workout. And not everyone's able to like get to that level. Sure, maybe that level is 700 to somebody. Sure. But like, like what is it, what is it that, that you, that takes you to that level. Like it does seem like sometimes you can just turn it on when you really want. To. Yeah, I, you know, it's just it's it's. You know, Jennifer always laughs at me because I I said something about not listening to my body, and she always thought that that was so funny. It was me, you, and Emily did a, a short video one yeah. time. And I said something about not listening you to my don't body. Listen to your body. Well, I mean, to the point of you know you know you're tired, but mm -hmm. you know you just got to look two or three tasks ahead of you and say, you know what, there's my rest, yes. there's my break, you know, just always fighting through the, the tough ones to get to the ones where, mm -hmm. you know, you have a chance to relax. Like today, I mean, I was so happy to, to, to lay down for piston for a few, Yeah. you know, I mean, it, it was a good break. I mean, you're still getting something out of it, but you know, you can catch your breath and go back after it. I just read an article, honestly, right before I came here, it, it's talking about the same thing. It was like a, it was an endurance article in like a, from a triathlon on site or something but mm -hmm. it was saying don't don't listen to your body do something put something else in your head to not focus on what's hurting or what not what you know yeah, like, no. what what is fatiguing you and it's it's like exactly the same thing that you're saying mm -hmm. um their thing was like get a mantra like it, it i think it was for biking so they were like saying count your strokes like one to eight and then start over one two three four five six seven eight one two mm -hmm. three four five six seven eight so if you're like let me just get here let me just get here let me just get here and then yeah you can lay down or well, that's, whatever like if we have a lot of benched in it or like i only count to 10 i count to 10 three times yeah me too because i mean those are things where you're like okay it's only to 10 you yeah. know and you're, you're doing the same amount but i mean just kind of not that's letting right. your mind yeah. go after and right. you know think about how hard something is right yeah, at you that have point like 120 more to do but that's like correct. focusing on yeah. the task at hand rather than the entire workout like i gotta get this whole thing done and just figure out what you're doing now it's just yeah. breaking the task down into shorter increments yeah i mean i know the motherboards out there i've looked at it a couple times mm -hmm. um sometimes i'll come in and depending on my mood like i'll look at the first set of you know the first circuit and i mm -hmm. won't look at anything after that you know, just, you mm -hmm. know, just, and just kind of just go yeah. circuit by circuit by circuit, not really worrying about what's there. So if you have, if, if you, if you did that and, uh, there, let's say there's three circuits and you only looked at the first one, at what point in the workout do you start thinking or know that you're going to finish? What, like, what, what mm -hmm. do you, what do you look at? Are you looking at the, the, the tasks ahead, the yeah. time? What? It's it's time and tasks. You so know, are you so, counting it in your sometimes, head? Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Really? Like, I'll look and say, okay, I've got, you know, 30 minutes left. And if it's an easy, some, if it's sure. not something that's really yeah. difficult, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, okay, I've got, you know, X amount of tasks left. And, and you know, I, for some reason, like, a minute per task always sticks in my yeah, head. even though but it's, it's totally not. not right. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not. totally not. But, you know, you, you think, okay, I've got 20 tasks left. I've got 20 minutes. You know, I'm going to finish. There are yeah, very few yeah. tasks that will take you a minute. Right, I know, but it's just easy. But it's a good, it's yeah. a good math to have. You're like twenty with twenty, well, yeah. it's doable now. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. So what? At what point? I'm saying like yeah, time wise. What point? And is he's that probably between head? twenty and thirty minutes left. Left. Yeah. Hmm. I was telling Mike on Friday. Yeah. Um, I I didn't. The last circuit was a was a U turn, and then with the Raptor, right? Yeah. yeah so the, the mountain too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I got to the U-turn, I thought it was 15 tasks. I hadn't looked at it. I said something like, bring it home yeah. when you were, like, on your way, getting ready to go there. Yeah, I was getting yeah. – I, I didn't realize it was only seven yeah. tasks. And then when he said that, I realized I was going to be able to finish. And then I started, like, turning it on. But before that, when mm -hmm. I thought it was still 30 in there, yeah. I was just – 
you know, do, do go in the same pace I was going. Right. But once I realized I had enough time to go, then it like right. it hit me, and yeah. that was probably I mean, not thirty minutes in, but right. maybe like ten or twelve left. Um, and I don't think I would have finished. I mean, I, I would have obviously noticed at some but point that you, you get that like boost of energy. Yeah. So you know it's that. Close. Then I started looking ahead yeah. at the, mm-hmm. the four, you know, it yeah. versus just going one at a time. And earlier in that work, I was like, I can't wait to get to the U-turn because I was thinking that. Like, I knew that all along. I'm like, that's an easy U-turn. I just want to get there because if I can get there, I'll score high. Yeah. And kind of playing off what you said before, playing that game of trying to stay ahead of people like within the circuit or lap them, I right. guess you could say. Yep. I was doing the same thing but leeching him, so I was behind him. And I was trying to stay within like one and a half to two tasks because I, I knew that if I did that, I would kind of draft off you. And that's kind of how – I mean, you ended up finishing – uh, pretty quickly, but I was like not too far behind yeah. you. So I mean that that's another way to yeah. play your game. Yeah, for sure. Um, but going back to the the mind over matter, essentially, is kind of like what you were saying. Right. Um, not to kind of steal the topic for next week. We're having we're having Brian on okay. to, to do the podcast, and he was giving me some. We were having a conversation off camera, obviously off camera, but uh, after a workout, he's like saying like I think people can push themselves harder than they really realize, and I do agree with that. But I do think that also, there, there, like for me, there's only so far that I can push myself. My, my brain is stronger than my body. Like I'm like, right. I, I can keep going, I can keep pushing, but then when I get to those two razors or four or whatever it is, I'm like, I have to walk this because I can't take in enough mm-hmm. oxygen. Yeah. And I think that everyone's different. Maybe you've had different like training. I've had, I've had like a stronger training uh, regimen before or eating better or whatever it is you're doing on or off the turf that can you know make you play better or not but um i just feel like some people do do know that they they can get to that next level and get more out of their body but some people don't know how to override that right and um i don't know it's it i just feel like I mean, and, and they're overriding it. I mean, you know, whether it's a, to a 700 or to a, a you know, yes. to a 900. I mean, if, the, if you can push it and you can constantly just try to go faster mm-hmm. if you want, if that's something you want. But, I mean, some people are really happy with just getting a good workout, right. coming in. And, and, you know, I mean, you watch people on the turf having a good time, mm-hmm. and, and that's important too. I've seen people make the, the slow realization that they can go harder or whatever right. you want to call it. And it, it's cool to see because you start seeing them do little things differently that'll make yeah. them not stop or, or keep going, whereas mm-hmm. before they would you know, yes. stop or take a break. Right. Yeah. And it's just cool to see. And you, they could have been doing it. You, you knew they mm-hmm. had it in them. Mm-hmm. And now to see them want to do it is, is cool. Right. Where you know, people like you, don't, you always do that. Well, yeah, every I mean, every time you work out, I tr- oh, not always, but I mean, yeah. you try to. But I mean, it, it's it's simple things like you know a transition, like making sure you know y- y- where your plate placement is on the mm-hmm. line. That's and, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean th- those types of things, or you know, running in between your you know in between your stationary tasks, or yeah. you know, today I was like, I mean, I was trying to sprint my kamikazes at one point today, and and yeah. you know, I was just like, you know, I'm feeling good, mm-hmm. and and I wanted to push it. Well, like today, you you do your razors and you. You're, you'd set your plate up for bucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, it seems minuscule, but that's such a detailed thing that oh, it is. Is, 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 is a yeah. big deal. I'll joke with people. I'm like, you have terrible line awareness. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, you, you, you know, whatever task you did, you pushed your plate yeah. so yeah, far exactly. past the yeah. line. You know, like, you want to hit that line. Not I mean, only that, I usually rotate my plate to the way I'm going to push it or whatever. Yeah. Sure, you know? mm-hmm. there, there's times I'll do it and someone thinks, is thinking I'm skipping the task. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Don't worry. I'm, right. always I'm like, just yeah. turning it I'm a little bit. I'm always afraid people are going to think that. I'm like putting it right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then I always, whenever there's, I, 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 I talk about this all the time. I love it. Whenever there's a, um, whenever there's a, like a, a pull with the plate in, in, in a, a, tr- a transition from like a, a, a what's it called? Um, like a primate, mm-hmm. I will always do something backwards so that I can go yep. right into the next mm-hmm. thing. I love what I love like inchworm from like a reverse uh, bear crawl. Yeah, I'll, I'll go reverse and then go right into it. I love when you can do that. And right, it's just seamless, you know. Yeah, and then or when you have uh, Mike seems to love having like four primates in a row. Like yeah. you know, finishing your last primate where you're backwards. You're, yes. Yeah, I mean where your toe sure. touches and bam, you're yep. off and going cool. again. There's a reason why I have primates. It's usually if it's like in a vertex or a never. Right. I mean, it's one of those ones where it's like. You're doing the same work exercise, but you're not really doing the right. same exercise. So, um, so how did it feel doing the Mach V? 
Oh, yeah. I went, we all, we all went together. together, yeah. So that was the one where... We all went ahead of you. Oh, yeah. And you yeah. still blew past me. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it, well, it took you a minute. Oh, my God. It took me a while. Yeah. But, I mean, that was a different... That had to be a different workout for you. It was, but it was funny because Susie was here, too. And, mm -hmm. and I was going... I was trying to catch Susie. Like, so not only... She advanced ahead of you or no? She was ahead of me for probably the first... 35 minutes but, but no, she didn't no. Jump no 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 okay. we were both okay. she and i did the I full say, yeah, okay. yeah so so i was trying right, to take it easy you did the full we got it you did all the tasks no i didn't do we all the tasks because okay. emily did more tasks than me or no, she, emily, emily got further no i but you, you I, I this is what i remember you didn't have you didn't skip anything the thing that bothered me was i did the most tasks that day and i was like 15th place because my 30 <laughs> days so, so low <laughs> i just remember okay so this is this is when we still thought we were doing March Mayhem together, and so I'm going with Kathy now. Right. Yeah. And I broke it's, up with you, and that's a sense it was, of, Yeah, it was, it was hard. It was, it was uh, mutual. It wasn't mutual. <laughs> no, it wasn't mutual. I went and washed my hands no, in the bathroom, no, and I came out, and no, I lost my date. No, no, and I'm like, Jill, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> and you're like, you, you can drop me if you want to. I'm like, I'm not dropping you. I just, I, we're just going to... I think it would have been a good, you know, just... It would have been interesting to see if we could have done anything, Yeah. you know, but... It, well, that was... Was it that workout that I told you that, or it was? I think no, it was like it a week later. Yeah. Because that workout and the workout after that, I brought that up, made me realize I'm like, this is not going to work. Because in Mach V, you were like coming close to me, and I don't even know what exercise it was on. It was like a reverse plate push or something uh -huh. like that. I think it was Cobras. And I was trying to stay with it you. It was towards the end. All of a sudden, he's like, like boom, boom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I blew. I blew uh, I blew it all out <laughs> in like three exercises, and I was just done. I'm like, dude, I. It, it, you know. And we only had like two minutes left, and I, I know, and yeah. I, but so what's going through your head? Because yeah. you you had you definitely had thoughts in your head about Mike, about Susie, and about Emily. Well, so yeah. what are the, what were those thoughts through the workout? Well, I didn't. I, I was worried about passing him because of the, you know. Like, you didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, oh, I don't <laughs> care about he that. said to me something before the workout. He's like, something. He's like, if you catch me or pass something me like something, that. you know, I'm leaving you or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. No, it was. he says he says something like, uh, "So what's good for your mentality? Should I not pass you?" Or I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Emily. I was. I mean, Emily was. You know, because I had gotten ahead of Susie Blinded. with like. You know, somewhere I think there's like 25 minutes left, and so I was trying to catch Emily, and then I'm like, I'm not going to catch her. There's no way. But the, so, what was it? One to 24? Everyone did. Uh, something like something that. Something like yeah. that. Okay, so you you get done with 24, and then to see her go to like 36. Yeah. You were super annoyed. Well, he oh, said he said God, it verbally. Yeah. He yeah. said something I mean, like, uh, "What did you say?" Like something it's like demoralizing. Yeah, it this was. is demoralizing. It was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and then I came back with, well, that's how I feel every single time I go. <laughs> but I, you know, after after doing that, like I'd like to do more of those because it was really fun. Like I mean, because everybody was ahead. There. Mike Kate yeah. was in the class, and it mm -hmm. was cool. Like I mean, everybody was ahead of you. So I mean, it was it was always trying to go it's after a that totally next person. different workout for you, right? Yeah, totally different mentality, right? Because you're normally not chasing people, mm -hmm. oh, especially right. that many tasks. There's going to be times where you, Brian, and Susie are going to go, and they're going to be you know, what, five tasks maybe or whatever. No, I mean, yeah. Well, Brian but never, <laughs> never like that. Never multiple people, multiple tasks. Right. How do you like that? No, I, I thought that that was fun. I mean, it was definitely a workout where, you know, you got to, you just, this, you know, try to go after this person, this person, yeah. you know, and, and it makes you more aware, you know, yeah. like some, normally I don't look three or four people over. Right. Okay. No, but, no, but we <laughs> okay. were, when we were dissecting that workout, Liar. we definitely, we said the same thing. You know, uh, it's like you, it's the only time where you're actually aware, like who is well, aware. I mean, it's like very lying, aware but... because you're trying to keep, <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to keep up. I was going to say, um, oh, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know, it happens. But, uh, so like, like, are you thinking about, like actively, are you like oh, thinking I'm... about picking people off? Or, or like, I want to catch up to this person. Then the next yeah, person. I think right, you know, in the beginning, I was so stunned, like, just to see it. Like, I was looking at the board. I was like, oh, my God, they're you so got, far ahead of yeah. me. I'm like, you know, it's going to take me a while. So then I just, you know, for a while, it was just keep going, yeah. you know, don't. Because, I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty big shot to, you know, to have that happen where you're like, so. It didn't seem like you turned it on to, like, after 30 minutes. And I'm like, he's yeah. coming. He's coming yeah. in my head. Like, yeah. he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> it was, you know, just trying to, trying to keep moving and, and mm -hmm. getting to that final half hour, you know, to this half hour and, and then pushing hard. Yeah, it's, it's super hard. I mean, you, 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 you probably never have this feeling, but trying to keep you away takes so much out of you. And then... You're saying if you're trying to keep him away? Yeah. yeah. And then once, 
once the end is there, yeah. something else hits you. Dude, and, totally. And it totally, totally. just kills you. Yeah. So I've, I've been doing that with you, too. And because and, we will go together in the mornings and stuff. Or it doesn't matter really who it is. But like if you're either staying with somebody or you're just ahead of them, and as soon as that person catches you and then they you know, put on the gas, especially like him because he, he's able to do that, it completely sucks it out of you. Yeah. It's like... You're doing. You're trying so hard yeah. to stay where you're at, and then it's like almost like you're in quicksand when someone's yeah. coming behind you like what that. What is that? I, I don't know. It's yeah. it's it's definitely mental. Oh, it's, it's got to be one hundred percent. Because and, you're playing their game. Like yeah. We talk about playing somebody else's game. All of a sudden, it's just like you just got on the same wavelength with them, and they just went past, yeah, and you're and, trying to keep. And like you know, in your head, like I'm gonna pass you, and then you do it, and then. It just, that happens. Yeah, no, I, for sure. I mean, and I'll look, you know, I'll look, okay, if I can just get to here and then, you know, then there's, you know, a task that I'm decent at, you yeah. know, then I can say, oh, okay, this is where, this is where I can catch them or pass them, yeah. you know, and, and so that, that's sure. what I was looking at. You start, you, you, right. you know, people's good and bad tasks. Yeah, sure. For most mm-hmm. part, for the most, for the same people we go with. Right. And then, so you, you can pinpoint where it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that really quick. Cause I mean. Back when I used to be higher scoring and, and more competitive, I guess, with my score, there would be people that I would go with that would be like, all right, I know that if I try to get ahead of them in this part, they'll be done mentally because I'm able to pass them. And I mean, like, I'm not trying to pound people mentally. No, but. no, no, no. You know what I'm saying. If you're playing a game, let's say it's March Mayhem or something like that, and we're talking strictly about scores, we're not thinking about that kind of uh, like, like form or whatever. I mean, we always think about form, but we're – just focusing strictly on the competition factor, I knew that if I was going with somebody and I could pass them and stay ahead of them for a couple tasks, I knew that certain people are, like I'm one of them right now, is when I get past it defeats me. It messes up with my head where I, I didn't used to have that. Yeah, don't have that. You don't have that? No, I said don't have that. Don't have it. It's hard to have yeah, that, though. You know? Don't make me feel bad. But no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. But at the same time, I used to, like... I used to maybe be able to keep up with you and turn it up a notch and, and, you know, keep going. But now it's like when I feel that feeling of, shoot, I'm getting past. I need to try to keep up. But then I start thinking, like, is my form going to suffer? Yes, my form's going to suffer. So just chill for a second. Don't get caught up in the emotion of it and just stay present with my form. And that, that has been harder to teach myself over the years, and I've gotten better at that. But my scores suffer. But I don't, I don't I mean, I care, but I don't care that much, you know? Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, I mean that for me. That's uh, as like I said, as I'm as I'm focusing more on. I mean, what what was it today? Oh, on the gorgons. You know, mm-hmm. not making sure I was getting into my squat, going into and coming out of. I mean, those are things that are slower. And if yeah. somebody's not doing that, you know, all of a sudden, then, then it kind of gets in my head. And I'm like, mm-hmm. just relax because you know you're out of here and you got yeah. a, a plethora of big bucks coming. <laughs> right. You're gonna catch them. Yeah. Gorg- just relax. Yeah, gorgon and stat swag they should take, take long, and if they're not then something's wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, but you were talking about when we were saying finding somewhere in the workout, like you just said, you were going to bring something up. Oh, no. I was, what I was going to bring up was the fact that I was trying to stay behind you by one and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we had, there was, you had the takeoff at the end of the U-turn where you kind of caught up, but there were so many, there was like three yeah. tasks that took so long that yeah. it was false closeness, basically. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, no, it looks like you're, you're. it's like a race where you have like a turn and you're like, oh, I'm really close to, so, but it's half that. a mile yeah. away. Yeah. But um, I don't, my head just keeps going to something you were talking about a while ago, again, still, is like the mind over matter thing. Whereas, I don't for me, it's like, I'm having a tough time because where I am personally in, in my own workouts right now, it's like I feel like I used to be of that that thought, that mentality that I can push it and override my my physical pain or whatever it is. Because you were saying whatever is, you were reading that, uh, explain it again. Because that's when I was having some. It was uh, it was just saying don't uh, don't listen to your don't body. listen to the pain. Yeah. Have your brain go somewhere else and get through it. And uh, whereas Bill was saying, let me just get to Kamikaze, th- this uh, um, article was saying, put something else mm-hmm. in your head and repeat it. 
right. and not think about your quads killing you on right. a bike or something so like that. So this is, this is what's bothering me right now. Like, if I were going to break down, like, my sight of this game is that I used to be able to do that, be like, you know what, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to push through this, and I'll be able to do it. I can't do that now just for whatever reason. It's There is, like, a certain threshold that I can't get through that I used to be able to get to, and that that's bothersome and it's okay because I know that I will be able to eventually get through it Yeah. but I do feel like some people do have that ceiling that they cannot get through no matter how much before I was of the mind that you know what people really do have it in them to push through and they they that thing that you're talking about like oh people do have it in them to, to score whatever it is a thousand or maybe it's 900 and it's nice to see that happen I thought like everybody was capable of that and only now recently in like the last year or so am I thinking well maybe not everyone not has it in them physically you know what I mean sure mentally I think people try to get there they just yeah, but I think you, also, you go through cycles too, right? I mean, you know, I my siphon slumps. You know, I mean, oh, they yeah. seem, I mean, you, you get in this in this mindset where you know all of a sudden I'm like, you know, two days in a row, like I've come in and I, I just I don't have it in me. And that, mm-hmm. the third day I'm like, I'm going to be here on Wednesday and yeah. I'm going for 60 minutes and I'm going hard. Yeah. And 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 that's you know that's where I want to be. And so yeah, I've got I, those texts from you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, it's looking for happen. me to motivate See, you. Right. Sometimes I'm like you too. I I will point out like a day or two in advance and like start mentally preparing yeah. for it in advance because I want to do well right. to get out of that slump. Yeah. And it's funny cause you know, when, when you were at your top and you know, and I was chasing you, mm-hmm. like I knew that if there was a bunch of crawling, you know, I was screwed. So like yeah. I, like I would try to do everything I could to mm-hmm. get as far ahead of you as I could yeah. because I knew that you were, you know, your crawls were, are so fast right. and, and you could just keep going with them. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you, you look at things where, you know, I'm not as fast of a crawler. Like, I can push for a long time. I mean, you know, that's, you know, I, I, I'll i always be able to push hard, right? right. I mean, it, pushing tasks are, are fine. Mm-hmm. And so, like, you know, I've been trying to trying to do Are you better. reading right now? No. Oh. I, have, I haven't looked at my notes. Oh, okay. I thought you were reading. No, I, I didn't even have that in my notes anyway. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think it's yeah. one of those things where it's, it's pushing through the things that you don't like to do. Yes. Like, I'm trying to get better with Jiggy. I I just for some reason. What are you reason, trying to do better with it? Well, I mean, like quicker or tight, just, just hips tight. Yeah, well, and getting you know, getting I've, I always get my hands, my feet above my hands on my jiggy, right? But it just it slows me down, and it, I just I'm trying to not let that mentally, you know, just like oh. see it and go, God, you know, and just yeah. be pissed that I have to do them. Just get them done, yeah. you know, and only count. I count to ten every time my left leg goes up, right? You know, what I mean, so that's that's how so, I'm doing uh, that. I, that's how I do my all my counts. Yeah, one, two. Three like that. Yeah, but I mean, it, it Jiggy has always really, you know, it's I've just never been a fan of it. So that's one of the things I'm just like, okay. Just my last these. Jiggy always, I always get messed up with my feet. Just the, the number twenty, for some reason, I don't know if my back leg. Do you stand up when you're forward? What? Like do you go, like if this is your last one, do you stand up? Yeah, I, I got so. corrected. That, for that's that. what it is. Yeah. I do yeah. the same thing. Yeah. yeah, and I was corrected on that. And they're like, that's really not your, your like when your well, hands I, up, you're not finishing. Yeah, yeah. So like, I try to bring it back, but that last one does hurt. Yeah. You're like, well, like it's one like it's, half it's weird, movement yeah. back, and it's, yeah. Eh, well, I think I stand up like that on the last one. I was told it, I wasn't allowed okay. to. Probably, probably Frank. I didn't see it unless was, it was he like he was cheating today on junkie jumps. He had a towel around his neck. I think it does help him. He'll no, do right. lunges of like it that. Does. It's, it's such, a, it's such a cheat. His lunges too. Yeah, him, I'm like, know. that's no, 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 no. He did not. say that. Yeah, I'm like, that's not okay. It is easier. So like rotating squat lunges, anything like that, I can let my arms hang and just yeah. be dead. Yeah, I, you can't do that. That's not, you can get the little like hoops in the towel, so you just hang in like here. <laughs> All right, I'll stop doing it. See, <laughs> I, I, he can wear a hoodie with longer strings. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know what, though? If, if he can take criticism, I can take that, and I, I, can, I don't have to do I it. mean, I was 13% serious, though. No, but that 13%, <laughs> but it is, if, if anyone it is thinks definitely, it's easier, I don't want to do it that I way. think it definitely is, though. And definitely Because, I mean, you're, you're, you're it's, able it's to... It's not for upper body, but it, it allows me to keep my shoulders and my chest back. That's one thing I do like about it. So if I'm, like, if I'm squatting with... Um, like just rotating squat or something like that, I do feel like I, I'll lean forward a little bit. That allows me to stay back, but it, it's more or less a, a rest for my arms. Sure. <laughs> just to, without ha- let them hang, you know? So I, I will make it harder on myself. That's, that's the name of the game, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, like again, going back to today's workout, I had it through my head. Like 
I'm going to push through Razor and I'm going to get through it, but cardio kills me and I know that the pushes are what you excel in. I, I wanted to run in those bonds. I couldn't run. I had, like, I had to stop on bonds. Yeah, you did. You know? <laughs> yeah, it definitely, it was definitely one, it, it, it's a weird workout where watching it looked way worse than it was. Yeah. Usually when you watch it and it's horrible, it, it, it ends up being horrible. Right. Like a couple weeks ago weeks ago but today i i didn't mind it at all the razors weren't as awful as yeah i don't know how you do it i don't know how you watch three classes and then go on the fourth like i mean that just i don't know if i could do that what what i do is i i i plan the whole time Mm -hmm. you know so so i'll use you and ellery and michelle and i'll make little because you know where you fall in kind of with everyone so i'll I'll see where you guys are at at certain points and then that's what i do when i work out is i'll be like all right they were here at this time i'm here and then you know i'll go from there and it's it's it definitely um, is, a, is a motivator versus going the very first thing in the morning and not having any, um, you know, by, by the time You're I go, I, I, I know the workout yeah. by heart. You know right. what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. so yeah. It, when I go at 530, I don't, I, don't, I know the first three tasks and then it's, right. tomorrow's going to be a train wreck, but yeah, that's whatever. That's not even going there. Uh, honestly, if you're, if you're, I like it if I'm, if I'm teaching like the rest of the day, I like to go oh, earlier. Take that out. Don't, don't. No, 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 sorry. If I'm going the rest of the, if I'm teaching the rest of the day, I like to go early. So that way I know I'm like, I've been through this. I can give people pointers or look out for this part. It's tough, you know, but if if you're going for score or whatever like that, it's nice to kind of know where you're going to fall into. Well, in in the morning uh, on Sundays, sometimes I don't want to go right away because I don't feel good. (laughs) Uh, Or, or I have to, uh, you know, help people out. So it, 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 um, it helps to, to go later for just a, a plethora of sure. reasons. No, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So I got a, uh, a few like shorter questions without going you know too deep, and then I want to finish up with kind of a like a like a what do you call that association like, for Cyphus, all kind of like chill. But I wanna I wanted to know you. Everyone's got like their own like pre workout rituals, and I noticed that you kind of have some, in my opinion, some quirky things. Like you always. You tape up your your hands kind of differently <laughs> than most people do. I do. And I and do. like, what, what else do you do? And like, what's what? Well, is, you tape your fingers right now for everyone. <laughs> no. You, like, well, you tape it. Like, you tape like these three knuckles, right? I tape. I tape two knuckles on one hand, uh, my thumb, and then my fingertip on. This like, hand. what is that all about? Because. On my crawls, I crawl open hand and then like claw on one hand. That way, I don't know how you do that. Yeah, and so these knuckles were just getting torn up. So it's been yeah. a long time that I've done that. Mm-hmm. And then my, <laughs> this is terrible, my thumb cracks. And then I think this, my, the tip of my middle finger is, is from hikes, like dragging it yeah. on the ground. Oh. Like it's just become so callous that it hurts. So I just tape that up. And then you, I mean, you always got to park the car backwards. You, you got to have the same plate, Tums usually. No, right? no more Tums. No, tums? no, really? no, no Tums. Uh, I've uh, probiotics have yeah. completely taken away to get any use of Tums. Yeah. Was that um, a doctor's order? No more Tums. Uh, nutritionist. I have yeah. a great. Just yeah. Because that, that, that's one thing I want to talk about. Yeah. You know, there's there's people, especially here. I'm sure. You know, I know in Brownstown. I know Leah and Carlene are big into you know eating and stuff. Right. You know, I Susie think everyone here. Eats. No, I eating the right yeah. things. Oh, okay. yeah. Suzanne here, mm-hmm. Susie here. I mean, those two people, like, I love being, like, I, I feel bad sometimes. I, you know, like, say, hey, I need, you know, what do I do for this? You know, and one time somebody's like, oh, you're keeping up with Susie. I'm like, yeah, Susie, what did you have for, for pre? And she's like, she, she says, she, and I go, I had a Costco hot dog, you know? So <laughs> it's like, it's like, but, you know, using those people as reference to, you know, yeah. to, to helping you out to, to say, oh, maybe I should try this, like, for pre workout stuff. Yeah. I mean, if it's early in the morning, sometimes I normally don't eat. You know, I mean, I just... Never. Never. Yeah, hardly. But hold on. Back to Costco. Is it really a Costco hot dog? (laughs) I mean, have I had a Costco hot dog before I've worked out? No, no, just in general. What? No, is it Kirkland? No, 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 no. no. Are you saying... Oh, oh, oh. Are you saying you bought hot dogs at Costco? I bought a hot dog at Costco. Hold on, hold on. You bought them at Costco and made them at home? Or you bought it prepared... At Costco and ate it like there. Correct. I That's ate what it you prepared. had prepared. Yes. Was prepared. that better than a Home Depot hot dog? I don't. Home no. Depot hot dogs I've had before. Yeah, and like out, and like the the truck. Yeah. 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 They got to be better than Costco, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted. I didn't know exactly. What uh, we we could have a whole show on hot uh, dogs. Hot dogs. Which, which I actually know somebody but... who owned a couple of those stands, the hot dog stands at Home Depot. 
I, I like a, I like a hot dog off a roller better than a roller water. from Seven Eleven. <laughs> well, I, I, I the the, hot, the Home Depot's great, but I love a boiled hot dog. It's so funny because love it. Every once in a while, uh, yeah, I have I'm a whole sorry. process. <laughs> a whole process. You boil, or no, you, you put the hot dog in and you bring it to a boil. However long it takes, I don't know, like medium high. Then I cover it for a minute. Still while it's boiling, or when, no? I turn it down. Okay, it turn cover it for okay. a minute, and I time the minute. I don't like like look at my watch. It's I'll like put a minute bag. up on the okay. thing, and I and I'm a freak, and it can't be a minute. It's got to be a. It's got to be off. So it's like a minute oh one, or like it can't just be a whole right. thing. So then once it's done, then drain the water. Boom, perfect hot dog, right. and it's awesome. I've never seen you so animated about anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> the hot dog. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Susie's will be reminded yeah, right, of right. nut butter yeah. and mine will be hot yeah, dogs. Yeah, hot dogs. Like, do, do you see that podcast? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, you mentioned that, uh, that that was one of the things you wanted to talk about. Is there anything like specific that you wanted to bring up? That- no, I mean, you asked me a couple questions. Just quick, you know, I mean, like on... On, on March Mayhem, yeah. you know, I think it's about planning, you know, to, yeah, to, to do well in that, that, you know, I mean, it, it's planning, it's taking, you know, and, and Broski and I, you know, last year and, you know, took it, put it spreadsheet, you know. Who, who, well, you weren't his partner. No, yeah. I know, but we would, whoever did it first would send it to the other person so they could cut and paste. And and, who was that? Was that you? Thanks, Joe. Yeah. So anyway, I think, I think for Mayhem and then Survivor, I mean, that was just. You know, that was so to, to clarify, Bill, you've won Survivor once, twice, once Survivor's a singles tournament and then Mayhem's a doubles tournament. And he's usually excelling in those or at least in, in the finals. And uh, I was off off camera. I kind of asked him, like, what it was that what helps him, you know, do well in those tournaments when it comes down to, to game time. So you were saying it was Survivor. Yeah, I mean, that was I, I, that was just a, it was a. I don't know exactly what put me, you know, it was just, it was hard workouts. It was, mm-hmm. it was, it was fun. I liked mm-hmm. doing it last year. It was, it was just that like extra motivation. It was two years yeah. ago. Yeah. It was just yeah, that extra motivation to, to go harder and, and keep right going as hard as you can every time you went probably. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that Do you feel you need that sometimes? I, like, I, oh, like, yes. Like, oh, without, me, I mean, me too. Yeah. A competition. I mean, mm-hmm. like I, it's so funny cause you'll, you'll really work hard for that competition. And I have like the worst letdown for like the next month after the competition yeah. is over. Like, well, what am I for working sure. for? Sure. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's, it's one of those things where it, it's fun to have them occasionally. I, I like mm-hmm. turf wars this year. It was fun. Turf to, wars yeah. is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was good. And you know, we used to do those things where you'd, I mean, we do them in the gym where it's you just different. randomly put like four people on a team. Mm-hmm. Like those things were fun to do every yeah. once in a while too. Like you never knew who was going to be on your team. Right. You had no real, you know, it was just, just it didn't some yeah. extra to work. Right. Exactly. That's the thing is to, do, to give that dangling carrot, you know, like right. always had right. that one thing to like look forward to or work for. And people in a traditional gym, it, a lot of times it it's be a dangling hot dog. It should be. <laughs> wow. that, <laughs> so we were actually going to name ourselves the Dangling Carrots for March Mayhem, but, but because he said it in a podcast, and he's like, "What should our name be?" I'm like, "I have no idea." The Dangling name. Carrots. That's what we were going to be, but mm-hmm. maybe know. another year. Right. I gotta. I gotta boost my boulder. Um, so one of the other one of the short things I wanted to ask you or highlight is the first year or two, you really saw like a, a dramatic transformation. Yeah. Like body wise. Yep. Can you elaborate on what, what exactly it was? And, and well, you, you know, I mean, I came in, I had been, I had been doing, tr- you know, sprint triathlons. So I, those were like, you know, what I was trying to prepare myself for, mm-hmm. you know, I'd gotten into them, done them for a couple of years, I competed in the Clydesdale division. So, you know, it was, I was always too heavy, you know, and yeah. I was like, what ca- I wanted to, you know, find my waist again. And when Jennifer was like, Hey, we should try this. You know, it was like, oh, mm-hmm. you know, let me try it. And I was like, man, this is something where there's competition. It's, it's an hour, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So those things were like super big to me. Like I knew that I could get it done in an hour, you know, have an hour of good workout. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely been, it's been huge for me just to try to, to get back in shape and stay in shape, you know, because, uh, you know, as, you know, kids, like I always got skinny when my kids were born and then I ballooned back up and, you know, it's been five years now where I've been in pretty solid shape mm-hmm. for the past five years. So I, I just, you know, continue. I, I don't play soccer anymore. So At all? yeah, it just, it, because it got to the point I play a soccer game and I couldn't work out here for a week because my body would be so sore from, you know, priorities. Yeah. So okay. I was like, you know what, and I'm going to get, I'm going to injure myself again mm-hmm. or, you know, not be able to do this. So it's just, you know, a soccer replan. Old man soccer, my kids call well, wh- it. Why were, what was hurting? 
my, like my legs, my groin, you know, mm, just yeah. so. Now you played college, right? No, oh, I did not. For some no. reason I thought you played. No, college. I okay. didn't. No. Huh. So yeah, so college is where my you know my <laughs> my fitness kind of went down, and then yeah. you know it just uh, so huh. it's it's been great. I mean, this is this workout has been it's changed my it's changed me physically, and um, you know so that's that's been huge for me. Cool. Well, um, is there anything else that you want to highlight? I mean, if there is, we can delve no, into I, it. No, we're good. Sure, check the back. Check the back. Well, well, look, I, I got my back right here. I, it's like, I it's did. Like cursive writing? It looks like no, a love letter. No, it's really not. How did you really fold not. that, too? It looks like one of those, like, uh, uh, folded, like, yeah. yeah, like you do one of these. It's quite folded. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so instead of asking people, guests, like, what's your favorite task, what's your favorite circuit, whatever, I'm going to give you just one word. I think one word in each one, maybe two words, and I want you to give me your first like initial <laughs> thought. Either either your either your like w one word or two words at most. Okay. okay? Uh, but before right. he does that, what is your favorite task? I'm not supposed to ask you. You just told me not to ask. Oh, probably big bucks. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So slope of two. Done. Uh, it's, yeah. You're done. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm just yeah. That was okay. three words, by the way. The well, I, I, I added that of just so okay. <laughs> yeah. Slope forty six. I uh, good. I, I like. I <laughs> Wait, like, hold on. He I doesn't like need to, to respond with one word, right? We need those no, rules like, fleshed out. I, I said like one or two. Oh, maybe, maybe from him. Oh, okay. yeah. Slope forty six. I'm gonna like that workout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, hike in three. <laughs> Sticky. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <That's all>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, walrus. Oh, terrible. Uh, big bucks. You already said it. God. You talking to me or him? Yeah, no, he, my no. favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah bucks. Because you buck and two. I also had stack shot. Same thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I watched that today. Too. So <laughs> annoying. Um, hybrid three. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> you know, I had it in there. I think it was a hybrid three yep. like one time. You're like, it was that last was year. He much. was so and I mad. I still remember that to this day. I'm like, I got to write this. That's funny. Uh, gauntlet. Oh, I love a gauntlet. Leech. Leech. Huh. Right now? It doesn't need to be someone. Like, what do you think of as a leech? Oh, I mean, I, you know, I, I having a leech or having somebody that's close have, behind you. He doesn't have one. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have one. That's what he wants to say. But I'll no, say I, no, I, uh, no, there's, no, I, 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 as of right now, I can't think of, I'm trying to think about who I've worked out with who's, I think working out with somebody who's, you know, who's close, I mean, that's, that's, can be really good sometimes or it can be really tough, you know. Sometimes, like, mm. I'll walk in and I'll see, I'll see Susie, I'll be like, oh, you know, I, like, I'm yeah. just not ready for this today, That's, you yeah. know, and, and knowing that I'm going to be, I'm, a lot of times now, I'm, I'm, I'm mm. a leech on, on to her, you know. I have so. a question for you. But That's a different But it, it's funny there. because she, she said something one time, and like, I'll, I'll say to her before the workout, I'm like, Susie, I don't have it today, because mm. I don't want her to think that, you know, because she's be big on, she's big, you know, I, I know she likes, you know, a good class and a good group of people, and sometimes I'm like, I'm not even worth being in this class with you today because, you know, I don't want to bring your motivation It's cool back. that you have that accountability to somebody else. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. Be honest. <laughs> have you ever stopped a workout? No. In the middle? No. Can I finish my I question? Exactly what you're what am say. I going to say? I don't know. I'd like to hear. Just because, because I, you know, because somebody's catching up to me. I if someone passes you in a workout, have you ever stopped? No. Be honest. No, it's I never happened. No, it has never okay. happened. No. Why <laughs> did you catch me one time? No. Oh, I. I no, I, 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 I've had somebody say like, "Oh, you, you, you know, you slowed down." Like I was like, I was slowing down because I was getting tired and I was, you know, I just wasn't in the in the zone to be doing that. Like I didn't give up because you passed me. Okay. I definitely have gone times where. I don't even want to get in there. There's been times where I like I'll be going with certain people and I'll get past, and the wind will be taken out of my sails and I just feel defeated. But I don't know if I've ever completely like stopped. Yeah, there was a Saturday that, that happened yeah. to you. I know. Yeah. I remember that day. I've had days yeah. like that. We've all had days. Yeah, we just, all have days. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it, it's it's one we of the can, hardest we things. We can take that out. We'll yeah. That out. What? We can take all this. Stuff. Oh, we could, but. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
We can leave this one. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got, I got four more. Um, mayhem. Retired. Ooh. That's not okay. Uh, mothership. The OG. OG. Initiation. Telling. Telling. And then form first. It's important. It is important. Yeah. All right. Well, that's been the Form First podcast for the night. Big thanks to Bill Simonson for coming out. Gave us a lot of great topics and information. Um, next week, tune in. We're going to be featuring Brian Lefeve, who's the owner of Great Lakes Surf Shop down the road from us. Uh, he's actually the top dog. He's got his first ranked on uh, all of, all of Sipus and uh, Sinclair Shores as well. And um, again, you guys have been tuning in to the Form First podcast. And uh, thanks a lot and have a good night.